In this video, we are going to discuss myocardial infarction, also known as heart attack. Now, what exactly is myocardial infarction? It's a serious medical condition where the blood flow to the heart muscle either decreases significantly or stops altogether due to blockage in one of the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart. When this blood flow is restricted, it can lead to infarction or in simpler terms, tissue death in the heart muscle. Let's break it down even further. The word myocardial refers to the muscle tissue of the heart. Myo means muscle and cardial relates to the heart. The term infarction means the death of tissue due to lack of blood supply. So when you put it together, myocardial infarction literally means death of heart muscle tissue caused by insufficient blood flow. We see there are four major steps in myocardial infarction. First is initiation of atherogenesis. Second is plague formation and destabilization. Third one is thrombotic occlusion of coronary artery. And fourth one is myocardial ischemia and necrosis. This entire sequence leads to what we call a myocardial infarction. Now let's see the whole mechanism of this process in detail. First is the initiation of atherogenesis, the process of formation of plaques in the intima layer of arteries. The risk factors for this include smoking, hypertension and diabetes and there are many more other factors also. These risk factors mediates the endothelial dysfunction where first of all we see the nitric oxide decreases. Here in this diagram we have the normal coronary artery. So under risk factors the nitric oxide is decreased, oxidative stress is elevated and eventually we get the vasoconstriction as we can see in the diagram. The inner layer in this diagram is the endothelium and then after we have the tunica intima. At this stage, the LDL cholesterol is easily permeable to endothelial membrane and it gets into the subendothelial space. And after that, we also get the monocyte infiltration into the subendothelial space as shown in the diagram, which ultimately forms the foam cells. So what are these foam cells? We see the LDL cholesterol into the subendothelial space. Here it is oxidized first in OX LDL form. Then comes the macrophages like monocytes, which envelop the OX LDL molecule and this complex is now called the foam cell. Then we have the plague formation and destabilization. As this process continues, smooth muscle cells from the vessel wall start to proliferate and secrete extracellular matrix. This ECM helps in forming a fibrous cap over the lipid rich core of the plaque. And we also see there is a formation of necrotic lipid rich core as shown in the diagram. It's made up of dead cells and fatty material. This core makes the plaque vulnerable to rupture, especially if the fibrous cap is thin or weak. Then we have the third step, that is thrombotic occlusion of coronary artery. Here the vulnerable fibrous cap ruptures first. It exposes the necrotic core to the bloodstream as shown in the diagram. This exposed material is highly thrombogenic, meaning it rapidly triggers the clotting cascade. As a result, platelets rush to the site, get activated and a thrombus or blood clot begins to form right over the rupture. This thrombus can grow quickly, blocking the entire lumen of the coronary artery. When this happens, blood flow is either reduced or completely cut off downstream of the blockage. And without that oxygen-rich blood, the heart muscle begins to suffer almost immediately. So after occlusion, we get the unstable angina. Because it may either be steamy or unsteamy, full blockage or partial blockage. So at that step, we are at the myocardial ischemia phase, which occurs after the artery becomes blocked. Now we know blood flow is reduced oxygen delivery to the heart tissue drops and as a result the cells can no longer produce enough ATP. This ATP depletion has serious consequences. Ion pumps in the cell membrane begins to fail. That leads to arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms that can be life-threatening.
calcium levels rise abnormally inside the cells leading to activation of proteases enzymes that start breaking down essential cell components these events kicks off something called wave front necrosis where cell death begins and separates like a wave through the heart muscle we see the subendocardium the innermost layer of the heart wall is the first to die because it is the farthest from the oxygen rich blood supply if the blockage is not relieved the entire thickness of the heart wall that is transmural infarction can die within 6 to 12 hours at this point we have what we call a myocardial infarction permanent damage to the heart muscle so this is the whole mechanism of myocardial infarction with its mechanism i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to channel thanks